Welcome, Welcome to, to Virtual, Virtual TrekCon 2. Hi, I'm Thomas Supernon, makeup artist, uh, former makeup artist from Star Trek, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Enterprise, and uh, two of the movies, Generations and First Contact. And, and hi, is... I'm Tracy Lee Coco from Star Trek The Next Generation, better known as Lieutenant J. I was also on Deep Space Nine and Voyager as 15 different aliens due to this man right here. Nice to see you guys back again. And we're getting to do something you haven't done, I actually. have never been a Kardashian. Or a Kardashian. Or a Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with that... <laughs> with that, let's get going. You know, I, I was doing a... a Cardassian makeup in, in London and uh, I was dismantling it on stage you know to, to talk about proper makeup removal which is very important never rip this stuff off your face but as you know mm -hmm. and um, and uh, you know I was making a joke about Cardassians and you know and Kardashians and, and I'm like yeah you know I, I know some people probably mis misunderstood and thought I was doing a Kardashian makeup but you know obviously it's not you know big silicone boobs no. and you know a fake ass no, none of that <laughs> <laughs> anyway so but we're gonna, you're going to make me look badass yes alrighty okay, I, oops sorry that's okay um, I'm, and oh. we've got our Star Trek shirt which I spoke about in the previous one mm -hmm. it's a black shirt that's been cut mm -hmm. oh now he's going to make me look real special. Yeah, just kind of loosen up oh. everything there and get our wig oh. cap on. Yes. Aren't those the kind of things they have you put on when you try shoes on too? Right. <laughs> Remember like 4 a.m.? Is this bringing back those 4 a.m. Yeah. memories where? Yeah. I mean, I got on the road at like, I don't even know, like 1.30, 2 in the morning, and then I had a call time at 3 o'clock. And you did that one alien that was gorgeous. With yeah. The ponytail. Yeah. Oh, that one too. Yeah. yeah. That one's great. Yeah, that was on Voyager. That was the one. Yeah. yeah. See, because like yeah. it had hair. Yeah, That's it had why. hair. Okay. I yeah, just yeah, changed yeah. the okay. back. Okay. Um, and uh, Joel Gray. Yes. Joel Gray was on that, yeah. which was kind of. I was like, oh my god, that's Joel Gray. Right. You know. It's like, oh my god. Woo. We had. We had some very amazing special guests on the show. Um, and, you know, that's one of the things about our careers is, like, there are people that we grew up with or people currently that we, you know, really like mm -hmm. on a show or something. And, um, you know, we get the chance to work with them. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's like, oh, I wish it could have, you know. I, yeah. You know, just, they could have just, you know, stayed a fantasy or something right? like that. Right, like, right. You know. Like this one actress that I always loved. Mm mm mm. Uh, she, uh, <laughs> she. Did she do that? Like in tape? No, no. I'm. I'm. Oh, saying, oh, oh. Yeah, not giving the name. I'm just. Oh, mm, oh, mm, oh. Mm. Okay. So, um, but I was so thrilled. I was going to work with her and do her makeup and hair. And oh, oh it was a nightmare. She's terrifying. Oh. And it's it's funny because years later, well, actually, one of the actors on the show worked with her on a movie. And was like, I pity you. Before she got there, and I'm like, oh, I'm sure we'll get along. Oh. And then years later, I worked with Eileen Brennan, who I freaking love. Oh and yes. God, what a wonderful, funny, amazing, talented, like totally amazing, funny. amazing lady. Yeah. Anyway, she. Um, oh, look at that. Yeah, there's her little forehead. I'm gonna do a little test fitting here. So. Uh, but, Eileen. I, I told her, you know, I've worked with a, a lot of different people from the, the film that you did called Clue. Mm -hmm. And and she goes, oh, tell me who, you know. And uh -huh. I was like, um, you know, Tim and, you know, this person and that person. And mm, mm, mm. and she's like, oh, that bitch. <laughs> I was like, oh, like, whoa. I mean, Eileen didn't hold back. She was hilarious. Yeah. And it's like. If you had a problem with Eileen, she would go toe to toe with you. She was she was tough. I mean, you know. The very 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 first alien that Michael had me do mm -hmm. was an Antican. Oh, the I the called him little... I called him Wolf Dog. Yeah, the yeah, the little furry guys. Yeah, with the prosthetic in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, and then they, they had the down. they had the little uh, uh, cobra head guys mm -hmm. who they were like mm -hmm. battling yeah. with and stuff. I met Sharon Stone looking like that. Oh my god, it was awesome. 
was supposed to work with Sharon Stone on Catwoman. Oh. And luckily I didn't get on that. I mean, I would love to, you know, hang out and work with my friends, but the movie bombed. Oh, it bombed. But these are actually tests. Oh, uh, wow. This is actually a Catherine Deneuve's life cast that I did some tests. Oh, my. And this was the claw marks and like the broken up face that would have been Sharon Stone. Wow. But the director's like, oh, it's too scary. Oh, Literally, really? like that, on the phone with me. Oh, it's too scary. It's too scary. He had this French accent. It was hilarious. I'm like, oh, it's too scary. It's too scary. I'm like, all right. I mean, the subject matter? <laughs> Whatever. So they went super subtle. So, the Cardassian is a ton of pieces. Um, yeah, I had to pick that one for you, didn't I? <laughs> it's fine. I haven't done one in a while. <laughs> the last one I did was at a trade show. And, well, you know, you know. I, I was thinking, you know, I've done like 14 of them, and there was some that I really w always wanted to be, and that mm -hmm. was one of them. Well, I wanted to make you happy. And now the next one, this is for then me. Then I'll make you happy. Oh. <laughs> it's, probably, uh, it's powdered. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> I want to do a Vulcan. Okay. I want to do like a Vulcan priest. Oh, yes. cool. Yeah. Okay. One of the many T's, T pals, T prings. Okay, uh, Matt, you want to, now this is the way I'm doing mine. Just tilt this way, please. I want to show the earring, so just snake that up underneath there like that. Okay. And then this go, this goes up a little. Oop. This goes, there we go. Right into there? Yeah. They're a multi multi piece. So. I'll be the first Kardashian with earrings. Bam! Yeah. Is this pre glued? Nope. I'll just just not talk, right? Just be quiet. No, just, that's fine. Hey, you just can, be quiet, Trisha. You can talk. I mean, we've done this a million I times. I know, but you know I can get... Yeah, I don't mind. Matt, on the other hand. I do not mind. <laughs> <laughs> so which which, um, which which episodes and shows or whatever did you guys work together on? Oh God! Good oh question. Oh well, that one that one was on Voyager. I just don't remember the. I don't remember the name, name of either. it. I'm sure there's one of the many Star Trek fans out there who will be watching this who will know. Who they'll totally know. You know, it just. I remember a couple uh, times being show, being on con, you know the convention circuit, and fans are first of all. Let's just say Star Trek fans are the best. They are fans. totally the best. We love you guys. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Give, give everybody ten seconds and see who can name the episode and the alien. Joel Gray was the. That's um, me. Yeah, Joel Gray was the um, guest on the show. Oh, great. Um, You also had a triple forked tongue. Yes, a triple forked tongue, and then um, you put con pink contacts in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Slits. Those were awful to wear. Oh, my I'm God. sorry. <laughs> was it hard to see out of them? No, it was just it made my nose constant run and my eyes water. Which, it, it's good that they, you know, didn't go dry. You know, then, then it would have been scratchy. And then you airbrushed my whole arm and my... Yeah, you yeah. had little dots. <laughs> Looked like a giraffe kind of spot. Yeah. Thing. There was, uh, we, we worked together on uh, Generations. Yep. We worked together on First Contact. I don't we, think you made me a Ferengi, though. No. I Didn't Michael Key? Yes, probably. I think Michael Key did. Um, then there was a Tac Tac. That was a weird one. Was that the weird? It had the thing right here. Okay. And they had to slice it for me to eat. They don't think of stuff like that. Yeah. And then both Borgs, I Tom. did. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, she has this other ring here. Do you want me to try and tuck it under? Um, let's I could take it off if you need it. Is she the way or mine's fitting? The air here. cuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right, but the piercing. Huh? So I'm saying, do you want me to fit it under? Try yes, and fit it under. Slide yeah. under? Yeah, that's what, excuse me, I didn't understand what you said. You meant slide under, I did Like, behind the ear, I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Do you guys remember the first, first one we worked on, the first time you guys met? God, when was that? 
I think we, you know, we met socially, you know, just, you know, like in passing. Yeah, but then you started do, putting makeup on me. I was going to say you started doing me a lot, but I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, I <laughs> think... Be more precise. I think, um, but the thing is, Mike, yeah. Mike, I think, realized that you and I would get along. Oh, totally. You know, Mike was good like that. He's, He's like, totally good like that. let's put this, you know, person with that person and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Okay, so when you're down, we'll get the chin. But he, yeah, he gave me the opportunity of a lifetime, I'm telling you. And once I did the antican to his liking, he uh, made that one that you did with look like the Cocoa Puff thing. Yeah. <laughs> look like a clown. It was like, like the, the circus, circus alien. Circus clown hair thing. Was that, was that your first pull on Chuck was, was an alien? No, it was m being me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I started in like 89, like... Okay. Right after um, Denise Crosby left, I took her kind of spot up there. Were you going to Jay that one? Or no, I didn't become her for, God, I don't remember when that happened, but it was a mistake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he accidentally said that, and they didn't do anything, so I'm like, oh. I'm going to run with this one. By the way, the new packaging for the new RCMA No Color Powder. I got a lovely gift in the mail uh, last Friday, uh, Thursday. I went out and there's this box and I opened it up. There's this beautifully wrapped black box with this white ribbon. And I was like, I didn't order this. And, and then I, you know, contacted the owner and I, I thanked them so much. It, it was... You know, as dark as this year has been for so many people, I thought, what a lovely, lovely thank you gift. You know, I huge supporter. I, you know, was just you know talking to Gloria about how, as a young, you know, fledgling makeup artist in, in my teen years, I was like saving my money to buy anything RCMA because that's what the professionals used. Well, it was so scary, you know, Why because. Though? Like, you know, we had a bunch of competition we were up against, and, uh, you know, like, some of the makeup artists, you know, on the show were like, yeah, we got it, we got it. And then oh. it was like, and the other ones were like, yeah, don't get your hopes up, you know, da, 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 you know, and it was like, so at, at some moments, you know, you felt like, ah, you know, riding really high, and other moments you had like this sinking, like, got like, oh, what if we don't? Uh huh. But we did, and then it was pretty much, one of those out of body experiences where I, like, I cannot believe we are up on stage yeah. accepting an Emmy from from Cindy Lauper. Wow. Yeah. And like on virtual Star Trek Con one uh -huh. when I was doing Rico, uh -huh. makeup. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I uh, told the story about how when. You know, I was walking back to the table. All of a sudden, you know, this guy comes running up and like, like, you know, grabbed me and congratulated me. And and it was an old buddy of mine, Paul Rubens. Oh, what is it? Pee Wee Herman. Okay. And like, so <laughs> okay. everyone from Star Trek. Well, the, the the funny thing is, people from Star Trek. You know, they'd been on Star Trek so long. We've all been on Star Trek so long. You know, it's like you didn't have a life before. You mm -hmm. know, and and people are like, how do you know Paul? And I'm like, we worked together, you know, we used to hang out, you know, it's like you used to come over for dinner and stuff. Wow. Buffy, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it just, um, it, it's, it's really funny, like, my, my other passion is cooking, as, as you guys mm -hmm. know. Yeah, God. That was nothing. That was just, you know, quick. No, snacks. but I see your pictures. Yeah. You know, I, have to, I have to come up for a proper dinner. He sends me, like, pictures of his food, and I swear to God, it's like, okay, bling, oh, my phone, bling, and I'm like, bling, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my, oh, that looks, oh, oh, that looks great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like to cook, too, but I just, I'm different. I don't get into it like you. You're like a chef tell and shit. I, I did like. Yeah. You're like Martha Stewart. Four loaves of bread yesterday. Yes. <laughs> oh, on top of, you know, trying to get everything else done for the shoot here and stuff. It's like. Multitasker. Is it, is it 
usually, uh, like, like a makeup job like this, is it, is it usually two people working? No, no, we, we usually just had one, one person per Cardassian. Yeah. Um, I hated, like, doing a tag team makeup, you know, like, a lot of times, you know, because you couldn't pick your partner sometimes, mm. and, like, we'd get people who didn't uh, play, yeah, play well. No names, but you know, some no people names. would just take over. They'd just push, literally, man, you know, like, mm -hmm. like just manhandle you or yeah. whatever. Like, you know, just like push you out of the way. Like my makeup, and I'm like, okay, diva. It feels so nice. <laughs> what? I'm, trying to, I'm trying to learn this new, this adhesive. Oh no, bit. that's eight. Hmm? That's eight F. Oh, this is eight F. Yeah, I did. I, well, did I was the trying other. to do it oh. separately. <laughs> This, my attitude will totally change when this is totally on me, watch. Because they are just badass. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Depending on the alien, most of the aliens I did, but um, for sure the Borg. <laughs> but this one, I can't wait. You know, the Borg costumes, I mean, you were in both Borg costumes. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> the, the first ones were restrictive, but nothing like the movie ones. Mm -mm. The movie ones, you could just, you know, you could just see it. Like, all, all of you guys, it, it it looked uncomfortable. Plus, it was hotter than hell. It was hell. hot. They don't think you got to go to the restroom. Yeah. So then you got to have everybody follow you there. <laughs> and dismantle you. Yeah, because you have the Pax makeup on, and if you smile, it cracks, and they didn't like that. You think, you think you think one of those hoses would be hooked up right right <laughs> but boy do they boy do the guys like i was in uh oh gosh where was i again i was in an elevator and i was aboard going back up to my room with the makeup and, and wardrobe to, were with me and these businessmen were behind me and oh my god <laughs> what they were talking about it was like it was exciting to them it was crazy so remember Nana? Huh? Nana. Yeah. Uh, can I even tell you what a wonderful, wonderful human being she is? Now see, I have never like met her. Really? Nope. Okay, like, you know, like working with her, you know, over on DS. Hey, Tom, if you want to tack this part down, I can get the back side. Okay. So. Yeah, I have never um, met her, met her. Okay, yeah, uh, Nana, like, just the hours. I mean, she became like family. She was like a distant cousin or something. Uh -huh. And I, I remember one time we were changing sound stages. Um, you know, we were moving from we were moving from that that one set that had like the sleeping quarters and the hallways and you know whatever utility stuff. Uh huh. And then. We were moving to the promenade, and that was always a huge big deal because some people were getting wrapped and whatever, and um, the craft service table was still on whatever sound stage it was on that we were on, and and um, so I was I was going to you know grab a couple snacks to head back up topside to uh, the upstairs makeup room, and um, and I was there, and her and I got talking, and and. Um, She's like, oh, you should be really excited. You know, this is a big Klingon episode, you know, next next episode, because she knew that I, you know, found the Klingons attractive. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm like, oh, come on now. You, you don't find any of these. And it was a mirror, mirror episode. Oh, okay. So she's in, she's in the sexy, you know, cat suit. Uh-huh. And, and she's like, oh, no, I don't think any of these aliens are, are sexy at all. And I'm like, oh, come on. It's like, you know, like some S&M Cardassian or something like that or whatever. And she's like, no, I don't think. And I'm like, really? And then she's thinking about it, and she reaches in and she grabs a grape. And she's like, well, the boards are kind of interesting. <laughs> and then she pops the grape in her mouth and walks away. And oh, like, my gosh. I'm like, oh, as she's walking away, I'm like, oh, all, all, all the attachments. <laughs> <laughs> and she, it, it was hilarious. Yeah, the Borgs are, I like them. And once again, like Alice, you mm -hmm. know, Alice could take such a disturbing character mm -hmm. and make her very attractive. Mm -hmm. 
But she does that with all her movies. It's yeah. like there's something she you know, she's amazing. Okay. And you get to squint really hard because there you know once again, it's like Star Trek. This one's not built for you, so you mm -hmm. know, on your life cast. Mm -hmm. So we're So squint more? Yeah, no, you're good now. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um you know, I, I find it interesting how everyone uses silicone. And the great thing about foam is you really can tweak it, where silicone, eh, not so much. Mm -hmm. It only has so much tweakability. Okay. Do they have Kardashians on Picard? I don't know. Hmm. I haven't seen any. But, again... <laughs> That doesn't mean there is has not been any. I am only. Well, you know. I'm sure maybe one of the scenes where like there's a scene where they go to like one of the bars. Mm -hmm. like, uh, Possibly, yeah. yeah. Like, one of the people in the crowd. Maybe well, I mean, they do do some pretty wide shots, you know, going mm -hmm. to and from like Starfleet and things yeah. like that too. Mm -hmm. So. Well, what what someone, got me? Someone, someone in the comments can tell us if there's been. I'm sure. Yes, please. What what I, I thought, well, this, this raised a lot of eyebrows. I went to one of the premieres of the J.J. Star Trek reboot, whatever, and we're sitting there, and they mentioned Cardassians. And the group I was with were, like, from Sci-Fi Network, and they all looked over at me, and I looked at them, and they're like... <laughs> and, and it, it, yeah, it was like... At that point in Star Trek world there you know there was no contact with the Cardassians so that that was another like continuity thing mm -hmm. to work together on was it Voyager probably okay yeah uh, I think it's been how long since we've seen each other 95 probably ah, yeah forever wow. yeah What, what the makeup was on the Voyager one? This one. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, Michael Westmore said, I, I want to make... Like a detect the top? Yes. Mike, another... No, oh, no, but Michael Westmore said he was, he wanted oh. to do another alien, and then that's when I asked you, can we make me a pretty one? Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to go all the way down to the forehead? No, just, just, just the back inch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm like, yay, can I have hair and a ponytail? And you were like, yay. Yeah, but I got there at like 3 in the morning. And then and then when we were done at 9, my shoot was right after, right when you were done, and I was home by like noon. Mm. That was an easy day, sort of. My areas are always kind of odd when you know you're trying to work generically. This is literally what we dealt with on Star Trek because there was a handful of life casts that mm -hmm. everything was sculpted off of. As I mentioned before on Star Trek Virtual Con One, mm -hmm. we had Kirdu Lay's head. Oh. We had copies of Kier's head, who was in 2010 which if you haven't seen 2010 watch 2010 I actually had a little marathon one 2001 and 2010 and as an adult watching it I it just the whole message that you know Arthur C. Clarke wow it was beautiful it was very uplifting yeah. um, I needed it you look like Lucille Ball right now I think it's the, your eyes are so blue and the, the turned up nose do you see it I can't see a damn thing, but okay. <laughs> we need to get one of my red wigs. Let's see. Hang on a second. Oh. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's kind of If you had like a, a red curly wig. Yeah. Oh, my God. We have to do a loose little ball makeup on you. Whatever you want. That would be awesome. <laughs> it's not very Star Trek, but you know. Yeah, connection to Star Trek. Yeah, this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they. It is Star Trek. Yeah. Um, Desi Lu. Desi Lu, their production company. That's but <coughs> well, that's where Paramount's at. Um, I forget which soundstage it is, um, but they still have that soundstage. It's just, you know. Do they have like? Uh they have uh, uh, like rap parties and stuff like that at the end of the season or like gather oh. and, like, get together? 
Yeah, well, DS9, mm -hmm. um, we had a, a wonderful rap party um, at that, it's like a aerospace museum thing in Santa Monica at the airport. Do you know what I'm talking about? Somebody? Anyway, Mei Zhou was there, um, um, you know, with her people, and it was so cool, like, hanging out with Mei Zhou. And, you wow. Know, I was kind of like, oh, I just, yeah. fanboy. Okay, so this is where you have to be really careful. The Cardassians, it's its not as bad as the Bullions, but because you have this line, you have to make sure that everything lines up or it looks funky. It's like Hatchet Face from Cry Baby or something. I believe that was a, that was a cool thing we talked about last time, talking about you being a, a Trek fan before you came on the show. Yeah, yeah. Was that something for you, Tracy, that you were like, um, I watched the old, the first one, uh -huh. but not a lot. No, um, I had no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> when I got, I started, like I said, and I think it was '89, and I had no idea. And then I had no idea that being uh, wearing, they put me in the black and gold. Uh, that that's the best color to be because it's two different things on the ship. Then the next thing I know, they have me doing. I mean, I've worn every color. I've been on all of the shows, first three movies. Good tag it. Yeah. Um, God, I was just telling Thomas uh, today that uh, Paramount, they'd fly me um, to Miami and, as a Ferengi, and I was on the streets of Miami doing my Ferengi in, in character with the voice and everything, <laughs> and sat on some guy's Harley, and he almost had a shit fit, but he loved it. Did you do the scream? Yeah. The Ferengi? Can you do it? The what one? The Fringy scream when you know, like because they're kind of cowards and stuff. Mm -hmm. When they're confronted, they're like, ah, ah. <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> but I, you know, I still have my te my Fringy teeth at home. That's awesome. And I have my tongue that you molded me <gasps> you for You still that. have the tongue? Yeah, Jeez. I have it in a little Aww. box, little clear container box. Yeah, I, I don't have that mold anymore. And I have my Bajoran. I was a Bajoran too, but I don't. Were Were you ever? I've got Nana's original mold. I'll make you a nose. Really? Yeah. Right on. So, um, were you ever a bullion? That's no. A, ah. They were blue, right? Yeah. Bald. Yeah. Were they bald? Yep. Yeah. Remember Mary, the bullion? Oh. I always did her makeup. Yeah. Yeah. And Dennis, wasn't Dennis Tracy one? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. Mary, Mary made it over on, uh, um, uh, Generations as mm -hmm. well. She was on Ten Forward for that one scene. Wow. Do you know who I talked to just recently? Hmm. Well, not re just recently. Um, Adele. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. She she wanted to be friends on Facebook, and I'm like, is this the Adele Adele? <laughs> wow. So I punched up her thing and looked at you know all of her right. photos, and I'm like, okay, it's her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I get crazy people sometimes. Yeah, that yeah, I get. It. Uh, I've had some, I've had some odd ducks. Um, they're they're uh, you know they start off like I'm a big fan, then they start like going off weird stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I've oh, actually. I've had, have you had stalk stalker stalkers? Uh, a couple, not too many. Oh, I've had but some. But I, I get rid of you know them quickly. I think because. Yeah, I was gonna say because of being male, maybe not so much, but no, that doesn't matter. I was like, no, I take that. No, back. I've no. had some, <laughs> yeah, mm. creepies. Yeah. So yeah. anyone who's watching, please don't be a stalker. No one like that. No one like that. Not not crazy mean yeah. ones. And, yeah. And, you know, scary ones. I <laughs> 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 may be small, but I'll kick her out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, how you know you you've done your own studs. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I have limits, but yeah. God, I remember. Um, it takes so long, right, to put all this on, and then when I was done, it was like, oh my gosh, like so quick when you took it off. With yeah. the, with like like with the alcohol, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, because you know we we reused Reuse. stuff. Now here's the the trick about. These. I always thought these went down a certain way. Mike, yeah, that's why I'm trying to yeah, figure out. Yeah. Mike, Mike's like, uh, no, they go down this way. So, see that curve? Let's see. Same curve. Let's see. Oh, no. Did, wait a minute. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, did I give you two the same? Okay, so you start a little back there. Oh, overlap the earpiece? Yeah. Okay. And then, look, it, it curves a little bit forward, forward. Okay. like that. I'm being manhandled. <laughs> <laughs> what was what was the most intensive one that you did? Alien? Yeah, yeah, or it was, it was naked shot and everything. Well, the most the Tony one that was very that most one? difficult and hot for me to do was the one I did on Renegades. Do you remember that one? Oh my god. Just, it was more like a helmet head thing, but like that. I took it off to get air and it literally went with the steam Ooh. and then um ryan husk had the the vent like point it was like so hot because it was just like a hot it was a helmet head but it was a hard one um i i don't know i didn't mind doing these at all so the board like thomas was saying they have a lot of pieces and then um the bodysuit that i had to wear um under everything mm -hmm. It reminds me of like a shark suit outfit, but it wasn't metal. Is that um, the um, that uh, one? next gen one? Or yeah, the, the next the, gen the movie. One. Uh -huh. That movie one was the next the big gen one. Rubber suit. The next gen one, and um, then it had each piece was a piece, a piece, 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 piece. So, and then like I said, the pack's makeup was the white makeup, and if you smiled, it would crack, and they didn't like that. Yeah, that's right? before I was on the show with my product. Product placement. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I little history. Do you remember Hank Eads? That name sounds familiar. Hank Eads was upstairs makeup. He worked down in the lab um, after he would do his makeup in the morning, uh, running foam. Um, he had a mustache, big, tall, husky guy. Um, oh, I think so. And he always listened to like 1940s music in the morning. Oh yeah, great and, music. And he, uh, this should kick a little forward, just a little forward. Okay. And um, Hank, uh, he, he kind of talked like this, didn't he? Was not that he was from Texas. Uh huh. The nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. Re <gasps> uh huh. What? This is from the show. Hank gave this to me. I also have some of Eads Green, which was a special wow. green. And um, oh gosh, yeah, this is um, Aqua Color, that was ground up with a little GP20 cosmetic fluid, and uh, it was a special Cardassian color. We'll check that for me. Oh. Isn't that neat? That's the nice. real thing. Nice. Yeah, Hank Eads uh, did Morn. Oh, yeah. okay. Tom See, and Morn was I great. He never talked handle. either. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Ah! Pardon? I'm sorry. He never spoke either. Uh, I spoke <laughs> once and then they cut it out. Oh. But, oh well. Hey, you know what? Look what I did, right? Yeah. I've done a lot, so. Yeah, more than most. More than most. Well, that's the thing. A lot of people, too, were like, ooh, prosthetics, you know? Well, no, and then, you know, people were like, oh my God. Marina, when we went out, we were, where were we? Santa Fe Con. And um, her and I went out to get some <laughs> air and chat. Because mm -hmm. we, I've never, we've never had a chance to do that, and I was telling her all the stuff I, you know, did on, not not just TNG but Deep Space Nine and Voyager. She had no idea hmm. about all the aliens and everything. Wow. None. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like when you're covered in prosthetics, you know, no one's gonna know it's mm -mm. you. You know. The people do say though that if they know my eyes. Ah. Uh. They they usually can tell. You know what's odd about this makeup? I remember with the pink eyes and the way you moved, you reminded me of Yvonne Craig as Batgirl. Oh. And I remember telling you that. Mm -hmm. so, yes, you did. Yeah. And that outfit was great. Did you, who, who made that up? Did, was um, that out of your head or did they just... No, that was Robert it? Fletcher, I think, oh, wasn't wow. it? I don't know, but it was pretty groovy with the ridges. Yeah, no, that was... You know, and it, it looked really functional. Like, if you were going to be like in sub-zero temperatures mm -hmm. that looked like it would keep your ass warm yeah and i mean it was pretty damn warm yeah it was warm <laughs> it was it was sofa fabric i mean <laughs> it was right and then so. the um the tac tac one was weird it they had a this heavy uh, thing on the back of my skull so my mm. head would literally think about cardassian that i found mm. 
because they're lumpy like this, yeah. with like the scaly thing going on, you can kind of get by with a little. Well, because those neck pieces, uh -huh. we reused them. Oh. Yeah. Really? We had to alcohol them off and reuse them. And so, like, the nice edges would go away. That's why, like, when you see Cardassians, they have that airbrushed scallop pattern. Uh huh. It was just to kind of disguise that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do very subtle uh, beta. Beta butter, and I'll, once I get my side done. Beta I'll, butter. Yeah, mm. this is Beta Bond. One of our guests on DS9 mm -hmm. was Fritz Weaver, and he was a Cardassian. And I grew up watching Fritz Weaver, like, um, I mean, uh, Twilight Zone, um, uh, Night Gallery, mm -hmm. um, uh, the uh, Lizzie Borden story. Oh, okay. Which was fascinating for me because my great grandmother, she was born in 1880, and she. Like growing up, I had a morbid family. They loved Halloween and they would talk about stuff. And she would talk about Lizzie Borden, you know, because that was recent news and Jack the Ripper and stuff like that, you know. And 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 so like weird weird story from like family members. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, but um, Fritz Weaver, you know, played Lizzie Borden's father with Elizabeth Montgomery as Lizzie Borden. Oh. And and I just you know and creep show he was in creep god he was just in so many things right uh -huh. and um oh god I just love him he's such a brilliant man talented actor and I, I remember coming up to him you know and he was a Cardassian and he's in a heavy costume and I just wanted to you know say you know I thank you for all you know your body of work and this and he just looked at me and he just looked so tired miserable like Thank you, you know, mm -hmm. and it was just he looked really exhausted, and I, I, I don't mean this as a, a bad thing or anything. I just he just looked so tired, and it was one of those. I think we were shooting in August. Yeah, it was one of them days. Oh God, you know, and it's like couch fabric. Yeah, yeah, you like breathe. they don't not uh, they they look great. They're great, but they don't realize the people in them have to. You yeah, know. yeah. I mean, you know that you know that's the thing. It's like that that fabric was just you know. It's you know you can't breathe in it. Well, you know it's like you know both Borgs you know were like that you know so mm -hmm. so anyway. Now what are we doing? Huh? We are going to throw some paint down. So um, my company uh, has has made a Cardassian color here. Oh. There we go. Wow. And um, let's see. I'm just gonna. Kind of brush some of this down over the prosthetic here. Now, normally we used packs, or like I used my prosthetic paint copy of the, the Hank Eads, you know, original packs, and we'd just do all the skin because it had to last like 12 mm -hmm. hours of shooting. Mm -hmm. And so. So I can't give you an actual color name because it doesn't exist. It's several colors that Hank Eats put together. And it works in conjunction with It's like a my caramel paint. latte frappuccino. Huh? Yeah. I think V19 is one of the colors in it. Yeah. Yeah. For you Krylon buffs out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. When I say Krylon, I don't mean paint, I mean the makeup company. So anyway, guys, this is like a treat for me. Totally. Those things where, you know, like, I did get to do like a female child Cardassian, but I've oh. never got to do like, you know, like sexy lady Cardassian mm -hmm. until now. Until um, now. Yeah. Mike did let me do a Dabo girl, which really pissed off a lot of the other guy makeup artists that are just like, I've been here for 10 years and no, I never got to do, do a Dabo girl. girl. You know, it's like, <laughs> and you never will. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> no, when Ryan, um, Ryan asked me, I was like, I punched the yes button quick. Aww. <laughs> now, what's really interesting about this little spoon up here, if any of you are into archaeology at all, ancient Egyptian, you think about, you know, like 
you know, the what the pharaohs wore, and you know, they had the cobra. Oh, if yes. You, if there's something very kind of Egyptian about it. They got easier for me, you know, like, you know, we would have some shows that were very Cardassian heavy, and and it was just like, oh, okay. So you just slap it, slap it down, you know, paint it, you know, and and, and they they became like, kind of like paint by numbers, you know. But there wasn't something that changed from when they first kind of had them. To the the females, I think, got prettier, um, you know. Some of the some of the early Cardassian female foreheads and stuff seemed a little plain. They were su they're very subtle compared to the boys, you know. And uh, one guy that I always seem to get and I can't remember his name. Um, he was tall and blonde and Scott. No, mm -hmm. no, like really blonde hair, very kind of surfy. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to see a female asparagus head. Remember them? They had like that weird ridgy thing coming down and like yeah. a nose up here and then their nose down here. And they wore the weird cowly costume around. They, you never saw like the back of their head yeah, or the, anything you know, like you that. Never, no. They were always tall. They were like, you know, yeah. six, five. <laughs> it would have been cool to get like, you know, a tall actress. But then again, maybe their species really didn't have a female. Mm -hmm. You know, they were. I'm short and sassy. Do <laughs> you have experience with uh, falling asleep while getting makeup put on? No, I never did have that problem. I was just so excited. I've had yes um, on Buffy. Um, uh, Ryan Watson, this amazing scent guy. Um, We'd have stupid calls, like, you know, 3, 12 in the morning. And he's like, do you mind if I just kind of rest? I'm like, yeah. I mean, you did massive stunts. And I'm like, get as much rest as you can. We'd recline everything. And, you know, my back would be like murder. But I'd be like working on him while he was reclined and stuff. And he'd, he'd be like, <laughs> doing that. <laughs> and I'm like, One of the worst is when you're doing this and you get the head down. The nodders? Yeah, and it's like, ah. Oh. And it's variations of taupe. So um, there's a dark taupe that I will be using. I'm going to use uh, the special sequel palette from uh, PPI, the Thomas Suprena sequel palette that I created. Smoke and taupe. Smoke Once again, you can oh. reach out to us if you want to purchase one. Uh, that's going to get cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just darkening their, their taupe. And... Matt, if you want to start getting some of the, the lining in, on your side, you know, I'll, I'll get as far as I can go on my side. If you could turn that way a bit, please. Okay, here's one for the fans out there. Did Cardassians have photon torpedoes and phasers, or did they have d uh, disruptors? Oh. And. That's a good one. Yeah. Because, I mean, Klingons and Romulans had disruptors, which are horrible, because they... They center in the center of something and, and then go outward. Mm -hmm. um, what was that? Uh, the most toys episode with uh, uh, the Fajo, whatever his name was, who kidnapped and faked Data's death, and, and um, he had a, uh, an illegal outlawed disruptor. Oh, and they take a little longer. Mm -hmm. That's why they are outlawed because it's a you know, cruel, like the Geneva Convention in Star Trek, like, you know, outlawed uh -huh. them. Uh-huh. Were you on that episode of Next Gen where Riker fell in love with the gender neutral? God, probably. I mean, I was over in a hundred episodes. I, I, um... That caused such flack. Really? Originally, she was going to 
they're born genderless and then they choose a gender. Oh, okay. And she chose female, which was like a cop out, you know, but like the censors, they were getting flack. You know, people are like, we will never watch Star Trek again if you try to force your agenda on us. Oh. And, this and, this. and it got really ugly. Yeah, you were talking rap parties. Um, when I was the Antican and I went out in the alleyway to get air, mm -hmm. Sharon Stone was filming Sliver. Oh. She comes out of her trailer in a cherry cloth row beelining towards me. And I look like a wolf dog. <laughs> and I'm shaking in my boots because I'm like, I love her. I love her. Yeah. And um, she was like, all up in my face, like tripping out on the makeup. Uh -huh. And she asked like, well, what do you look like under there? Well, happened that day, I gave the security guard that photo I ha you have in your house. Okay. And she's all, oh my God, you're so pretty. Why do you cover your face up? And I said, well, for one, I like it. And for two, they pay me okay. <laughs> and she's like, how would you like to come to my rap party? Oh my God. So I'm like, oh, Sharon this is Stone. like, this That's is so awesome. this is crazy. So yeah, and then she goes, she told me where it was, and she said, and by the way, she goes, when you get there, say your name at the, you know, the door, and I'm giving you um, my extra uh, bodyguard people. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm nice. like, who am I? And I get bodyguard people. Oh, my God, it was hysterical. But, oh, I love her. And yeah. she's in that show, Ratchet. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's such a shame, like, you know, I, we didn't get to work, and I didn't get to do her. You know, do, mm -hmm. you know, makeup in, in that movie and stuff, but oh well. Oh well. But it's like weird. Like, the, you know, the stuff that I've done because of Star Trek, you know, like I first started out on Baywatch as a lifeguard. That was my. Yeah, I yeah. remember those pictures, yeah. actually. And then my first movie was Gross Anatomy, where I play a medical student. And then I was on the Paramount lot doing another 48 hours, and that's when Mary or somebody from Star Trek saw me, said, You need to come talk to so-and-so up at, you know, in the business office. They really like your look. And I'm like, oh, okay. I have no idea. Very cool. No idea what I was getting into. Okay, so Matt, if you could just kind of do a little whiny bits and stuff, that would be awesome. A little whiny yes, bits? Yes, yes. Uh, yes it's just did, the did, he, did you say whiny bits? <laughs> whiny. Just black and taupe? Uh, yes. Um, I, so you were never a Bajoran. I have a Bajoran thing at home. Oh, you were a Bajoran? Mm hmm Oh, okay. But I don't think I have a photo of that. Ah. Was it DS9 or Next I don't know, Gen? but mine had a ring in it. See my ear cut? Well. Oh. My, my ear the ring. Bajoran, the Bajoran earring. No. Oh, in the It was neck. just like the loop, but I had it right here. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, that's. I didn't get a Oop. photo of it. Yeah, I still have that. That's in my little thing. Oh, too. gosh. Mm -hmm. That's odd. Uh, yeah, I, I used to wear my tongue out back in the day <laughs> that you made for me for that out alien. Mm -hmm. And um, and I trip people out. You know, one day we're going to have to do like an adults only, like unplugged, like Star Trek where we could talk about stuff that, you mm -hmm. know, before, before everyone was painfully PC, you know, yeah. I mean, we had a lot of fun. You had, you had to have a bit of humor mm -hmm. with the hours that we pulled. I mean, you know, being all robotic PC, yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. after like 18 hours, excuse me. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you get wacky and 
the idea of people running around in alien makeup and stuff, it is kind of silly, you know? And, like, there were, there were breakdown moments, you know? Mm -hmm. Not all of them were blue, but, you know, some of them, you know, were, were just downright slap happy. Yeah. Like, I remember on that one episode with uh, Gates's ghost lover. Oh. Yeah. And, um, who, I guess, you know, her grandmother was involved with, and then she was involved with, uh -huh. and, you know. Anyway, so what happened is, uh, one of the really late nights on that, um, I remember, uh, you know, G Gates, uh, had a mouthful of techno babble, and, and she, she was, uh, uh, flubbing up on, on, um, uh, her lines, uh, this one particular word, it was anomalous. Oh, and, and after a while, anomalous, if you say it a few times, it's like abominable. It's mm -hmm. like, am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was, it was hilarious. So, um, yeah, we, <laughs> and then we had this Irish actor and he's in makeup. So he's an Irish alien, right? Oh my gosh. And it's. <laughs> it's like New Scotland or something like that. And anyway, and so, you know, everyone was like Gaelic, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Gaelic aliens, which is interesting. But anyway, so what happens is I loved that episode. A lot of people didn't. And I'm like, whatever, you know, teach your own. But um, this guy was a singer. He was a crooner. And, and Brent, as we know, amazing voice. Amazing. <laughs> Brent and him were sitting on set and... You know, they're both in makeup. I mean, old yellow eyes, you uh -huh. know. And they started singing, like, oh, Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. The, you know, and then, song. like, some other, like, you yeah. know, classic songs. And it was amazing to be there. And it was also surreal seeing, like, this weird alien, you know, and then an android singing, yeah. <laughs> like, Gaelic songs. It was, it was very cool. And, uh, you know, those are those moments where, you, you know, you've got those moments where you, you're like, I'm, you know, even if you're not a Star Trek fan, just being with a family of people like that. So I, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, Kiss Eyelashes. Their um, full name is kissusa.com uh, at Kiss Lashes. Uh, lovely, lovely uh, uh, designs. Um, and so we're going to... I'm getting know, lashes. We're going to really punch the... You know, forward the idea. She's a female Cardassian. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and this is called Territorial. Because Cardassians are very territorial. No, man. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Great. This is one of my favorite things um, to come along. This is, I forgot which one this is. This is Urban Decay Vice. Lipstick is my vice. Gosh, what a nice it, little it, unit. Yeah, that is. and then you've got a little mirror that, you know, wow. doesn't break. Okay. <clears throat> my favorite, my favorite like spirit gum. Like it's a PPI, <laughs> um, PPI spirits. Uh, it's great for HD. It's very non-reflective. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> this is what does it. This, this sells Let me it. see. Let's see. Uh, we need a adhesive brush. <laughs> Meow. And they, they, especially with that one, they what, what, what they watch me come in. 
watched me come in because they were like waiting for me. Mm -hmm. And then when they saw it, they were like, whoa. Yeah, Mike was very pleased with that. Yeah. Whoa. My, me? Yeah. Um, Michael Westmore came up and he, he said he wanted to give me the opportunity to be an antican because he's always had guys do it and he wanted to see how a female would do it. It's and I guess I did great because yes. he gave me 14, uh, how far do you want? 14 more. Oh, this is actually so go all the way. No. So I guess for your question, yeah, um, I guess I did it correctly and maybe really good because then there, then he made, you know, 14 more. Uh, where's it? He even he uh, even made the one Thomas was talking about with the, like the clowny rim head uh, hair, um, and he named it Coco because it didn't really have a name. Um, that one didn't have a name, really, did it? Did we ever know if that hmm? one was a name? Did that one have a name? No, no, I don't think we ever had a name. Mm -mm. What are we doing? What are you doing? I don't know. He doesn't know what he's doing to my hair. Yeah. Slowly I turn, step by step. Feeling <laughs> very, it's like Uma, Th Uma Thurman as, oh. as, as uh, Poison Ivy, kind of. <laughs> and I'm just going to let this be down, and then I need to... finished yeah all right yes. thank you thank you for uh <laughs> watching and yeah and letting How, us go let us know what you think strolling down memory lane oh my god this is number 16 yeah hmm. oh um let's see oh yes first time seeing myself as a cardassian this ought to be so exciting oh oh my God, you don't want to mess with me. Oh my God, we got to do a movie. Oh my yeah. God, we got to do it. <laughs> you guys, let's make this happen. Oh, I could be I a mean. I can't believe, I can't believe you've never been a mean ass bitch. Like seriously, on the show, like, the, I don't know. Like you've got to, you've got to send Mike. Mike Westmore, a, a, a shot of this. You got to. He doesn't uh, respond you know to me. Okay, I will. <laughs> after, <laughs> after everything he put you through? Yeah. Okay. Come on. That boy, let's, let's he, he needs to, yeah. Picture time. <laughs> yes, you guys, let's do this. All right. So, what are your thoughts, Tracy? Oh, my God, I'm in love. <laughs> Aw. How does it feel to be back in Tom's makeup? Oh, my God, you have no idea. I just feel like right now, then we're all going to go to the set, and I'll, I'll have to be a badass on the set right now. Oh, two ones. Oh, my God. <laughs> he turned little Coco into a mean ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's excellent. You know, I really love you as a Kardashian. I love myself. I, I can't believe you've never I've been never one. I've never been it one. It still freaks me out. Like, you guys, like whoever at, you know, it may be, yeah. let's make this happen. Right. Because I, 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 I. Yeah. What do you think, Tom? What are your closing thoughts on your experience going down memory lane? It was wonderful. I mean, you know, we we go back so far and everything, and, and it's just so great, you know, seeing. Yeah, I mean, we've been in contact, you know, in, in the virtual mm -hmm. world, but it's great physically being here. You know, just catching up and, you know, Oh, my God, you guys. I am in awe. I'm in... I can't even... I'm gonna like cry and I don't wanna ruin Aww. it. I'm serious. There's no crying in virtual. Um, but I mean, Tears of happiness. I could be a badass one, but yet have a heart. Yeah. I have a heart. <laughs> a cold leathery heart. Leathery heart. But oh my God. whoever it may be, let's do this. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. You. <laughs> Gotta see what happens when I'm by myself. Oh, do that. There you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Let's make this happen. All right. So to uh, closing goodbyes and thank yous. Or whatever okay. Whatever. Well, goodbye and, and thank you again for tuning in for all the silliness and memory lane. And uh, and it's great being here. Oh, my God. It's so nice to see you again. Thank you so much. Thank I, you. I can't even. And, you know, thanks for having me on again, you guys. And um, 
Hope you like it, because I can't even tell you right now. I'm like, woo! This is awesome. So cool. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank by you, the way. guys. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Right. Thank you, Scott.